This year has been a tough one for all of us. The months of lockdown and restrictions have had a huge impact on our mental health. Looking after our mental health has never been more important than it is now. Making positive changes that support good mental well-being is possible, but can seem hard, especially during uncertain times. Sometimes it can be difficult to know where to start. The five ways to well-being offer a chance to do this. Our teams across BLG Mind have put together some messages for you. We hope our short videos will inspire you to find your way. The team from the Recovery College talked to us about the value of learning new things in our fourth video. Welcome to the Bromley Recovery College. My name is Charlie Carpenter and I'm the college principal. The college was set up in September 2016, so we've now been running for four years. And in that time, we've been able to offer a remarkably rich range of courses, workshops and groups to all those who either live in the London Borough of Bromley or who work in the borough or who've got a GP in the borough. Why do we exist? I mean, what are the aims of the college? Well, we've got a number of very clear aims. One is to help people to acquire a, a, a richer understanding of the world of mental health, in particular, one's own mental health. You know, we all have physical health needs, the need to stay as fit as we possibly can. We also have mental health needs, and this applies to absolutely everybody in the population. And that's very much what the college is here for, is to help people to acquire that understanding and, and particularly those who have got, they recognize that they have you know, mental health needs, the college offers the chance to uh, develop a better understanding of their own individual needs and to, to sort of find ways forward. And hopefully we'll be able to support people on this pathway towards recovery. Um, also though, I've got to admit our courses are, we do try to provide courses which are simply great fun and they enable people to develop fresh interests and to meet people and, and, and to generally enrich people's lives. So, you know, we've offered a very vibrant range, admittedly during the last few months with the lockdown, the pandemic, um, what we've offered has been restricted, but we're still, there's still a lot happening and details of our courses can be found on the Bromley Lewis Wing Range Mind website. Um, please do have a look and do feel free to, to come and to join in and take part. Uh, who Hi. Like to... Hi, okay. here's Angela, right, yes. Okay, I'm Angela and um, lead tutor for the walking groups. And um, what we do, we walk uh, various locations across the borough of Bromley and our last location um, was in um, Biggin Hill, far down past Cuddam. And it was a beautiful, very exquisite scenery. Well, gentle walks, we normally cover um, Kelsey Park, uh, Beckenham Place Park, Crystal Palace, South Norwood Country Park. And it's just gentle, we just basically walk around for just over an hour and we basically see the views in the park like the um, Egyptian geese, um, we see waterfowl like the Canada geese in a natural habitat and we just inter interact with nature mm -hmm. and um, my students have told me that since I've been on the walk it has improved their mood, uh, their blood pressure, some people some people have even lose, lost weight. It's improved their memory. And basically they feel better after the walks. They look forward but, yeah. to joining the walks every week. I think, yes. um, and again, there's a the camaraderie. People can yes, talk. Absolutely. Some of our yeah. walkers are quieter and just get on with mm. it and talk occasionally. But um, yeah. it's a good mixture. I think we all have a good connection and uh, we come to know each other better. 
yeah. and people do benefit from it. We've been going, so is it uh, four miles absolute maximum, and usually a That's bit right. less. The walks will have been wrecked first. Yes, right. Uh, and, yeah. and me, um, I've, I've, I've yeah. always smacked the, the area we're covering, so they yeah. will have been um, surveyed, wrecked, or how you prefer it, so that they are working. Yeah, we do wreckage together, Monica. Yeah. We Absolutely. do the wreckage together. The important thing is, it's jolly good fun, isn't it? And, and people it, and get together and they can have a chat. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> you, you build up a, cam a camaraderie every week, mm. and people look forward to it. We look forward, we've built a bond, and we support one another. Uh, President Fox, he's quite shy, but he comes down to greet you. And also, as Charlie knows, I've got a thing about Egypts and geese. They follow you everywhere you go. So, yeah, please do. Down. Let's everybody please chip in. Is, yeah. I've been on Clint's walk, several of uh, the walks led by Angela yeah. and Veronica, and I've, I've yeah. enjoyed them. They're pleasant. Um, oh, it's, it's a nice social activity, too, because you're with people and mm. you can choose to talk or you don't have to say too much. It's just nice. Yeah spending mm. time with you know at a gentle pace mm. um walking parks and outdoors I, I saw a program last night that i think uh, it was about nature and it said london is it leads the world in i think um i remember in terms of city um nature i can't remember what it was biodiversity or something and mm. 80 70 or 80 percent of london is actually green yeah and mm. 10 or 20 percent is blue meaning canals Mm. and water so mm. it's a good good enough reason to get out and enjoy it because mm. the younger generation especially needs encouragement mm. they were saying that actually in, inmates prison inmates are spending more time outside than a lot of young people during the day so mm. you know yeah. exactly as uh, james said um i've been doing the walk for quite a while as well um quite shy as I came into it first, um, but the group and uh, tutors really helped to uh, feel that I was welcomed and mm -hmm. uh, it was a, um, a warm reception. Good. And it wasn't a case mm -hmm. of um, people were jumping in uh, mm -hmm. and asking questions or um, wanting to take part or pushing for that, um, the comments. Um, to uh, come into uh, the college in general but also the walks um, and from there it sparked quite a few um, good friendships and it's a great uh, time to socialize as well and, uh, which we received through donations and uh, which we so on um, yeah I, I, I helped to run the allotment project which Charlie has encouraged us all the way um, with since you know it's kind of inception which was just an idea in the winter um, and we've managed to already get a little harvest going having planted stuff from seed uh, in August so we've got radishes and we've got um, rockets and some collards and strawberries so already we're seeing the fruit of our labours I've had sitting in the cupboard um, it was a Christmas present some time ago and I've never really used it until now. So I'm learning carpentry skills as well as gardening. Um, and I have the feeling that everyone's in a good spirits when, they, when, they, when they're with us. So thank you. Yeah. It's um, walking with nature. So um, although it overlaps with a lot of other groups that are, that are going on at the moment, that Angela and uh, Veronica are doing, um, mm -hmm. The idea is that uh, if, you've, if you want to take a camera with you, then you can actually focus on the nature itself by, by using either a, a phone or a, a camera. So um, we do offer help in, in the next development stage. Um, but uh, predominantly it's just um, seeing what's, observing what's out there and um, uh, yeah, making a note of what we see as we go along. Um, Thank you, Sally. That's very kind coming along and speaking about it today. And uh, great, great to have um, you with us. So the Art Connect course, same as most courses, had to go online back in March. Yeah. Uh, I, I normally introduce uh, different artists each week. I mean, like 
This week, I introduced an artist called Rose Wiley. So the part of artwork is you have to process the world around you. Mm. Not just emotionally, but you put, you put it through what we might call the unconscious. So you're processing work, your experience, and you're reorganizing events. <laughs> and uh, so the challenge in this one really was, was keeping people busy and people you know, s engaged at the level to, to continue with the group. I mean, we've continued right through now for about it's more than six months oh, from perfect. March up to September. So that was that's on, on, a, on a weekly basis. So, so obviously I've had to expand the themes of what we're actually dealing with each day. So discussions, is, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's very <laughs> interesting. And it's, it's also open to anybody, people, people who have never done artwork before. You know, it's, it's sure. that, getting that enjoyment out of it as well. Mm. And I'd say like that, that, that connection and you feel looking forward to other people having a look at the work, open to mm. new experiences. Yeah? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the great message to people out there is come along and join in our college courses mm -hmm. and yeah. new skills. This is a massively important part of good mental health.